we here at This Is Sparta MSU pride ourselves in being the only show about Spartan Dogs, hosted by Spartan Dogs. This gives our listeners an insider's perspective of the player's point of view and gives the next generation of Spartan Dogs an environment they can come to if they want to, in order to talk to us and or, or how as we, we talk about it and feel comfortable, we chop it up. We want all Spartan Dogs to feel comfortable with us and what we're doing. Our responsibility as former players is to be able to lift up the next generation on our shoulders and propel those guys forward. Guys and girls, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're a Spartan dog, I don't care what you're doing, swimming, gymnastics, rowing, you're a Spartan dog to us because we understand what it takes, the value that, that you put in, that you have, and the commitment that you have made uh, to this program, the blood, sweat, and tears that people don't see on those early mornings, those late weekends, those 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 late nights that you get back to your rooms and, and, and you wonder what's next. We understand that better than anyone else. Over the past two years in college football, a seismic shift has occurred with regards to the transfer portal, it's more robust, and obviously name, image, and likeness, the legislation that has been passed all over the United States. We believe that the future of Spartan Nation, that we have to do what's right in order to continue to be relevant with the other programs in the nation. We want to create a platform where the show here, this is Sparta MSU, can connect businesses and players who fit their brand, marketing, sponsorship, brand ambassadorship, whatever it is, for financial compensation or otherwise, which can alleviate stress on players. We understand that better than anybody. There are players today in 2023 that have stress because they can't afford to do the basic things. We're not talking about million dollar contracts. We're not talking about guys getting rich and going off and having that, you know, uh, generational wealth. We're talking about basic needs and then some because of what you guys are putting on the table every single week, day in and day out. We don't believe in telling you what we hope to do. We want to tell you what we are doing. And we're going to string together a few promising introductions and announcements in the future. But today, what we're doing is we're going to announce what we are doing. This is Sparta, this platform here, this is Sparta MSU. This is the first event of many that we are now talking to and talking about our friends over at IHOP combined with Keon Coleman for a brand ambassadorship for IHOP International. Bring on Keon Coleman and Cal Farah from IHOP to talk about the new NIL agreement that you guys have signed. And hey guys, welcome to the show. Hey, good evening, gentlemen. How we doing? Good, good. Awesome. I'm doing good. P.I. Coleman. What's up, bro? What's How up? you doing? What's up? Hey, I'm were you bowling? Great, you bowling or something? Yeah. Yeah, man, man, I'm gonna be honest, man. I got whooped. Man. I was losing. <laughs> I, had a ter- I had a terrible day. Look, I, I, I admit, I had a very bad day. Are you, are you traditionally day, a good bowler? It was fun. I mean, I mean, I'm not no, you know, what they three hundred. I ain't bowling three hundred, but you said, man, I can get yeah. me, you know, me. At least give me one fifty, Keon. One fifty. Make it, Keon, a, 150. Make it yeah, like some around now, man. I was barely cracking a hundred. I was like. <laughs> My, my score said, look, all nines. Every single one was a nine. I'm like, bruh, can I get a break? Did you ask for the bumper guards? Strikes. I think I hit two strikes. The bumpers couldn't have helped me. I was really right. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, so you had, you, had no you had no spares. You had no spares in your system. All nines. I was like, bro, oh, it was stressing man. me out. I was getting mad. Mm. Hey, so do you, put, do, you, do, you, do you put your fingers in three holes or you cuff the ball uh-uh. and lost it? I put them in two. I, I I I think I bowled weird. Like I put it in two, 
I put like I could put either my index finger and my middle finger or my ring finger and my butter my middle finger in either one of the holes. Like I put them in the top two and then I turn it I opposite and then I just roll this get some spin on it. Mm. I don't put my finger. I don't put my fingers in them holes. I don't trust. Them. I don't think my fingers can make it out. <laughs> I don't think my fingers can make it out. You don't, you don't trust the bowling ball. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nobody ever taught me how to bowl, let alone put my fingers in the thing. I just figured it out on my own, and you know I've been all right. As long as I'm not entering no bowling tournaments, I'll be all right with my little weight for now. You know? <laughs> if you're to be my brother, I'm gonna take bowling off. training. That's enough. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Uh... Breakfast and bowling. <laughs> do some That's pancake awesome, drop man. off. That's so awesome. I'm in. I'm rough. in. So, Kel, yeah, tell I us know like, you're in. Like, I know you're what in. What happened? Like, why, why did you choose Keon? And like, how did this come about? Talk to talk about this to the people. You know, it, it's funny. I every spare moment that I get, you know, I get on your guys's podcast, and I, you know, I like to listen to you guys, and and I like to interact, you know, by the comments, and and here it is. It's Somehow, some way, Keon came up a couple weeks ago when uh, Steve was chiming in. And uh, I'm talking about you there, Steve Smith. But, uh, you know, he mentioned Keon, and I said, hey, let, let's try to get something rocking and rolling. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great young man, great parent, you know, and uh, Raven over there. So, you know, a great head on his shoulders, and I think it would be a good match. So we did the introduction, and uh, through your show, your guys' podcast here, we were able to make this happen. Man, look at it. Pancake. Pancake's falling. Oh, look at that. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> that, is, that is fire right there. Man. Absolutely, man. That is absolutely pancake. fire. <laughs> Can you dump man. a stack of pancakes for real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> syrup, too. I could catch him with the syrup. We can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's Keon, what is this what does this partnership with ihop mean to you i mean it mean a lot uh meaning that court mr cow you know he likes the spartans and he support what we have going on and you know he's trying to get into that nil you know marketing area and i just feel like it's a great opportunity to build a great relationship with a great with a great gentleman as himself and just get the ball rolling with this and try to make it the best yeah, Keon, man, you had obviously a, a great year last season, right? And I know that you you pr- pretty sure probably would love to have more receptions and more yards and yards after the catch. And, you know, as we know that you were the focal point for the offense, man. But one, it's a shining light coming to the future for next season. But, you know, talk about how this partnership, this NIO, being a brand ambassador I have is going to propel you for – the off season, but you know, get ready for 2023 season. You know, as far as marketing goes, it just gets your name out there in a in conversation with, with good with great people that you know can make life a lot better with uh, for you. You know, relationship wise, mentorship wise, and financially wise too. You know, bringing in money and helping you. You know, whenever you need to have those those talks with those guys to how could I better in this area of my life, like of my business. And such and such things, because Cal has a has a, a happy family, so he's a family man too. And, you know, you just learn from the, from their experiences, and it's like it's like an OG in the game giving a young man a young man the, the game. You know what I'm saying? Like just helping you elevate in different areas of life that they succeed in. Wow, that, 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 that's great that's answer. Yeah, that's, said. that's well said. There, you know that uh, you know you can't you know, Keon, we. Everyone on this show has been a big, big fan of yours, big supporter of yours. I've been, you know, known to go on tangents about, you know, your skills, your ability, your muscles on top of muscles, muscles marinara, everything like that. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I'm really, really happy for you. You know, this season, you know, you battled through injuries and everything like that and came out and, you know, played week in and week out. So, Cal, with you, like, what did that go into that grit that Keon showed in that, you know, us, we, our mentality as opposed to I, me, mine? Because there's some times in the season where he could have easily been like, hey, man, I'm hurt. I'm going to, you know, protect my stock, protect my investment. But he had that us, yep. we, our mentality, wanted to go. Did that play a role in, you know, choosing a guy like Keon to be, you know, part of the IHOP family? 
I mean, it, it fits the IHOP mold. IHOP's been around and fighting for the last 65 some odd years. I mean, what keeps a brand around? You just got to keep fighting for what's yours and secure it. And um, the same thing on Keon. I mean, receiving. I mean, you're receiving the ball. You, you want to grab it. You want to keep it. You want to hold on to it. And that's what IHOP does. IHOP embraces that being number one in breakfast. Um, so I, I think it goes hand in hand. Man, look, Keon, you, you don't know this story here, but we were watching you playing against the team down the road, and – you were giving that corner the business and over top his head. Me and Kyle are sitting in the stands next to each other. And uh, there was this young lady oh, who, was, we go. who was yelling. <laughs> I'm talking like talking cash money and yelling in Kyle's ear. And then you went up and grabbed the ball off my man's head, run into the end zone. And <laughs> it almost gave Kyle some firepower to turn around and say, hey, he took. He talked to the girls. The girls' boyfriend. Hey, if you don't shut her, shut her down. I'm gonna have to shut her down for you. <laughs> I, I oh, no, see, let me let me correct you on that. It was. I, I didn't want to give you the full. I didn't want to give you the full details. Like I'm trying to PG thirteen here, Kyle. Yeah, you better check your. That was hearsay. That was yeah, hearsay. That was it was. It was. But it was more on the lines of you better check your girl before I do because we just scored. We're up. I like it. I down. like it. I like it. I would I wouldn't put up with nobody yelling in my ear like that either. I'm trying to watch a game. You doing all that? Oh man! Nah, team can play. nah I'm, I'm coming right back at you. Mm-hmm. Man, yep. So, like Keon, talk about like you know this this off season right here. You made the decision to not play basketball and, and to focus on football. What is it that you wanted to really accomplish in this off season? What do you want to accomplish in order to prepare you for? your junior season and potentially being able to leave early for the NFL draft? I feel like, you know, since high school, I've been doing this two sport, two sport, and I never really got the chance to, you know, perfect my craft and for 12 months straight of just one sport. And I feel like with this opportunity and my heart finally helping me decide, you know, by praying with God to just help him, ask him to guide me through this, through this hard, you know, decision of, choosing one sport that I really wanted to play for the rest of my life. And, you know, I ultimately ended up choosing football because, I mean, I came a long way in football. Like, I I started playing receiver maybe, you could say high school, but like, I didn't really know anything. I knew how to run, jump, and catch. And that was that carried me into college, you know, just natural ability, trying to learn what I could off the Internet. Then when I got here and started learning from Coach Hawkins, just the perfect, like, the things you have to do to become a perfectionist at your craft is, like, it takes time and it takes a lot of effort and energy you got to put towards that. And once I seen the areas I needed to get better at, I didn't want to do anything but that and school and work on my body so I could be good going into the league and I could have a successful three years of college and hopefully get in and out. And, you know, so this summer was, was major for me because I've seen some good flashes and me and Coach Hall watch a lot of film with me, you know, doing things right. So we're just trying to make that right every single rep you know when it comes to releasing anticipating the shot you know getting vertical and getting in and out your breaks making a play on the ball uh getting the edge on the db any way you can by being a student of the classroom and watching tape so you know what they're going to do before they do it because you've seen them do it a thousand a thousand a thousand times and i feel like without missing this spring i get to not only go through the hardship of the spring, the winter and spring programs of the lifting and running and getting stronger, but I get to go through that with my brothers that I'm gonna be fighting with in the battlefields in August, September, October, November, December, and trying to get to January and win something. So I get to go through that and fight through that, all that adversity with those guys and just show the love for them, you know, and give them all I have through the spring, the summer, and fall camp so we can hit the ground running for the, for the season and just being a bet, using this time to become a better leader to lead our young receiver room. And just you know, we're trying to go win something. I love, I love the fact that you said January in there because you know what January. If you playing in January, that's the the CFP right there. So Keon, this yeah, this year, you know, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, this past year, you know, you broke out. You were on the scene. You were you were developing. You were starting to be that dude. This upcoming year, now, you know, there is no Jaden Reed. You know, there is you know. 
people are going to be game planning for you. Bracket coverage is going to be coming your way. You know, how do you feel about that? And that are you ready for that uh, pressure on your shoulders and everything like that? I think I'm ready for it because I feel like as a leader in my room now, my guys will be prepared to help take that weight off my shoulders. So I won't have to be stressing about this, about that. I know when the when the, the bracket comes to my way, that means one-on-one -on -one for the other guys on the side, other side of the field to make a play. And I trust, you know, Coach Jay Johnson is going to get the ball in the playmakers' hands any way he can to make sure that bracket don't affect how the, how the outcome of the game is. Yo, Kiar, man, so Coach Hawkins, you know, from the crib, from Flint Town. And uh, Coach Hawk has always been an OG, uh, but for the family and family friend. But give Spark Nation more of a back behind the curtain scenes of, you know, what's the difference maker in Coach Hawk and playing at every level, having success at every level, um, and then being your coach one on one. Like, give us some some behind the scenes of like what 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 does Coach Hawk truly mean to you? Because I know you broke it down, but like, what is it about him that makes him a difference? maker compared to any other receivers coach out here in, in, in the nation? I think personally, he's done it at all three levels successfully. And, you know, he has to take the stats and all that to back it up, the accomplishments, the accolades. And he's also a competitor. You know, he has some swag, which all receivers need to have. It's mandatory. He has some confidence to him. He has some grit to him. And he really knows what he's talking about. And he's a great teacher at breaking it down. Because I'm a fast learner, so you don't have to go as slow. So we can we can get this show on the road because you know the faster you learn, the more you can get to you can get through the basics and get to the extra. So you can add a little flair in the game, you know. So it looks even better while you're doing the basics. And you know he's just a great teacher. He's a student of the game as well, and now he's a teacher of the game to me and the rest of our receiver room. And I feel like he he really he really made an impact on my game this, this past season, helping me in the off season giving me things that I need to work on. So when I leave from campus and, you know, they can't really be there doing everything with you, I can take that and work on those drills by myself and, you know, perfect those. Yeah, so that, you know, that's really good. So back when I played, when Otis played, when Jason played, we couldn't get – you guys can get away with a lot now when it comes to celebration and stuff. And you just mentioned, you know, get out the details, get the extra and, you know, that flair. Like, are you thinking, like – during the week, do you guys, like, practice celebrations and everything like that? I mean, I don't – I mean, we don't We don't really celebrate practice. You know, you score, you get the ball to the ref, put a hand on the helmet, celebrate your teammates, find your teammates. But, you know, every now and then you might be able to get you – do your, do a little something, something. It's straight you, – you celebrate with your team first before you do all those things. So, I don't think we really celebrate, you know, practice celebrations. But, you know, some things might be in the back of your head that you want to try. But, you know, most of you might have a lot of handshakes. You know, the linemen like to show they strong and pick you up and stuff. So, <laughs> Damn, I wish I had a lineman that could pick me up. I'm 255 and running the ball. I would have had you, too. <laughs> 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 right. I'm making Let me pick you, Javon, up. Yeah, I'm going to up here and pick me. boost you up. That's how it works. <laughs> they don't just pick yeah. you up from the ground now. You still a man at the end of the day. You gotta run it jump so it's a boost. Mm -hmm. You don't want to pick you up out there like a little kid. Yeah, I want. I want the whole. I want to be pampered. I don't know. Uh huh. Not me. Not me. I want to show off the little hops a little bit. Then you boost me even higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 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 Keon, I'm gonna ask you this question, and I'm gonna try to tread lightly for you because I don't want to throw you under the bus. This is gonna be a question that you gotta think about. When you're you're talking about a leadership role that you're now taking on at Michigan State, because now Jaden Reed has moved on, he's torching people as we speak in Mobile, Alabama at the Senior Bowl, so that helps you. But when you look at the performance of your quarterbacks, you see them every day in practice, right? You have Peyton, you have Noah Kim, you have Caden Hauser, and 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 then some. How are you going to approach? developing those guys and then ultimately coming up with the guy who best suits the needs of the team in the off season. Oh. Now that's a convenient time. Yeah, that is a, <laughs> that's, a, look, that's, God, hey, that's God's protection. That's God's protection right there. There he is. There he is. You back? 
Oh, you back? No, nope, can't hear you. No, we know here. Yeah, he got to come back in. We got a little technical, technical difficulties. But I just want to ask, I want to know, Cal. Yeah. When are we going to get down with these pancakes here? You're going to the T-bone steak. <laughs> Listen, you, you can make your way over to one of Keon's signings over here. You can get yourself a T-bone and uh, some pancakes. You know what I'm going to do? I I'm switched my order up. I want I want some, uh, I want four eggs scrambled with some cheese mixed in. You know, I don't want that word yeah. on top. And then uh, I want that milkshake because I and then I want some French fries because I dip my French fries in the strawberry shake. Oh, that's listen, it's not a frosty, but it's close. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I know what I know. I love the strawberry milkshake now. Trust <laughs> me, I'm the one put them on game, Kyle. He did. He did. I'm the one told her, I told her, I was like, hey, bring three milkshakes during our first one. She was like, I like guys, aren't you? <laughs> she was getting this crap. Uh, oh, we can't hear him. Back, Kia, what's up? Still can't hear him. Nah, Kyle. They, you know, the people said, "Hey, are we gonna get some King Kong Keon pancakes named after him, or, or are we you gonna know, do some?" I, I, so what? What I think, I think this is just, you know, the tip of the iceberg for for this young fella. Um, so I'm hoping we can figure out a way to kind of make this a long term thing. Um, you know, God willing, we can continue to get it done. Um, you know, the first, first few, get the signings done, get them in the stores, uh, you know, being the brand and brand ambassador and then, uh, kind of go from there. I mean, he's, he's more than, I'm more than happy to have him kind of create his own little thing and that will make it the key on plate, mm. you know, nationwide. Yeah. Ooh. You talking about the guy that's going to be in the NFL in a minute. What's up, Keith? Oh, Still. man. You 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 can't hear you, but you know the, the crazy thing is we were talking this week, you know, as we're going over the show and everything like that, and we shoot text back and forth and everything. And Otis sent a picture of like where we start where, when we first the first day we went to your IHOP there in Brighton, and we came with so much equipment we didn't know what to do. We had speakers, we had we were setting up. But the thing is, all your workers there were so nice and helpful to us. You know, they gave us a nice section in there, come and check in on us. And we we had no clue what we're doing. And for this is part of people that's watching this, like we shot the first episode on a cell phone. My cell phone. <laughs> if you guys want to see the behind the scenes, I do have the security footage. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hey, oh, man. There was a lot of there was a lot of head scratching. There was a lot yeah. of I don't know, and we just I, keep drinking we to work. Internet, you know, he was out here hot the, spots. You I mean, got to keep the blackmail behind you. I got it in the bag. Oh, <laughs> roll but, that out. Roll that but out. But the big thing, Cal, that we do appreciate here, you know, all that, you know, all the support that you've thrown our way every time, you know, from you know backing us the the gear every time you're here watching watching the show. You know, yeah. commenting, messaging in. I was going to wear my shirt, but I wore it last week, and I didn't want people to think I just wear the you same thing over and over. You know what I'm saying? You have a washer and dryer. Well, the people don't think that stuff. You, you Steve Smith like, damn, Chew, you don't wash your clothes. You, I know how these people are. <laughs> and notice you know I'm right. <laughs> So uh, my, hey, we need that Keon platter down in Louisiana, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. They said, man, look. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. Let's, let, let's make it work. We'll try it up here first and then take it around. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. Back on. He's not having trouble getting back on. We just wanted to say, you know, before we say goodbye to him. Yeah. So, well, I guess, you know, one, like, listen, I don't know if he heard it. Nah, he probably did. Quarterback. He was about to. He was about to. <laughs> You're giving but, him time um, to think about his answer. Yeah, but Kyle, I like, think about Spud. You know, called, Spartan Nation. On all three quarterbacks, right? So Spartan Nation, obviously, people are viewing live, and then you're going to see stuff coming out. Is you know, you're going to see some marketing collateral of obviously the dates, uh, times, locations where Keon will be posted up at the, the store the IHOP, and so we're going to get as many Spartan fans to that restaurant and show up and show out, show love and. You know, it's just, like I said, it's nothing but the start for for Keon, but also his his fellow brothers and sisters in the green and white. Yeah, I mean, come out to one of the stores. I got the dates and times here. I don't know if you guys want me to announce them. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can announce them, and we'll get graphics out socially. But yeah, go ahead. 
So February 18th, it's a Saturday from four to six. He's going to be at the Grand Rapids location. So the address is 5039 28th Street Southeast. Um, and then March, Saturday, March 4th, from 4 to 6 p.m., he'll be at the Brighton location at 8075 Nemco Way in Brighton. Now, each one of those will be there signing. In addition to that, anyone attending is going to get a coupon for a $5 bounce back. You know, come back to an IHOP. Um, so I think it'll be a great event. And I think the more word we can get around there, the more we can kind of, you know, give a key on a little bit more support, you know, as, as Spartan Nation can. Absolutely. I, I, I will definitely be at that March 4th one. <laughs> yeah. The more you guys show up, the more, you know, the, the more benefits Keon. And so the, the Spartan Nation show up. And as Otis Wilder said, show out. Yeah. That's all we're going to do. Keon. Are you back? Yeah, I'm ready for the question, man. It was hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to know. I want to hear this. About. I'm ready. Oh, you before ready? before you ask that question, before you ask that question, um, what is that? Because when we were doing, so Jason does the play by play for the radio. I do the sideline, and I, I do the the. Animal. You do the you do the. He's the color. Yeah, yeah you try to get George on his head now. <laughs> So straight does the, the color analyst and then I, I do the sideline. And so I'm listening to it and uh, you guys do this dance, and this is dance going out there. And I'm, I'm old now. I still use the word lit, you know, cause I think that's what's in still. See, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> but the dance that you do and you pretend like you pull the hammy and stuff. What's the name of hot. that? What is <laughs> yeah. Hot. He no. uses hot. You use lit. I don't, I don't fire. use fire. That's beyond me. I'm too old for that. It's called it's called a stand man. The stand man. Stand because, man. because when it happened, because I was down there having the set, and some one of you guys did the dance. Someone's like, "Man, did he injure me. himself? Is he hurt?" I didn't get to finish it though. I didn't get to finish it. That was the Michigan game. He did it right. Yeah, he grabbed, yeah. He grabbed him. He was like, "Oh no!" But, you know, I had to look. Jamar Chase pulled it out against the Saints. I was like, dang, he beat me to it. Cause, you know, Stan man be all on, on TikTok and say he's from New Orleans. And I was like, I'm gonna do. It. I said, I'm gonna do it next game, man. You know, I had to pull it out. Stan man from the Louisiana. Man, what's up? Louisiana got some athletes, bro. Like, so from what I hear, sources tell me when you. When Keon traffics around the streets of Louisiana, it's like celebrity signing, you know, like Michael Jackson used to be. Jordan, is that how it is in Louisiana for you? I mean, uh, I wouldn't say all that. They most of be shocked to see me because I, I mean, I just pop up home. Like, it don't be announced that I'm home. Like, my people sometimes, most of the time, don't even know. I just, you know, pop up and just be there. And, you know, so when people see me, they'll be more so shocked. They'll speak, but. You know, I don't bite. I'm I'm a friendly person, man. I'm gonna speak to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you got you straight. Go ahead. Ask the question. Ask the man the question. Okay, so the question is, Keon, as a leader now with Michigan State football, how are you approaching the quarterback position <laughs> and, and taking that to the next level? You got Peyton Thorne, you have Noah Kim, and you also have Caden Hauser. How are you going to go through this offseason with them in order to come up with the best? quarterback for you in the Spartan program for 2023. All right. So honestly speaking, I can't I can't name a quarterback. That's not that's not in my job description. So that's right. That's up to their quarterback coach. So I mean honestly right. I feel like they all can get the ball where they need to put it. And you know they all have they all bring different things to the table. And I don't dislike any of it. So honestly I don't I mean it don't make a difference to me. We're going we gonna to connect regardless. You know, we all working this off season, So it's going to, you know what I'm saying, it's going to move. It's going to move perfect. Right. Like, which one like a true service leader. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. Answer. Whoever yeah. throws it, you're going to catch it. Yeah. Hey, what's, your, what's, your, what's your philosophy, Kiara? We heard you say uh, on the radio post game that you said, uh, somebody said about, hey, you know, it's 50-50 balls. You said something to the, what did you say to that when he said a 50-50 ball? I don't even know what that is. It's a hundred zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, yeah, you know about those? On the, on the bad, on the bad. Yeah, not yet. Might, 
it might be 95 5, you know. You know <laughs> On a bad day. The ball, the ball might accidentally, you know, slip out the quarterback hand or something. Something miraculous might happen, but you ain't gonna ever pick it. I'm, I'm gonna make sure you don't catch it. Either I got it or nobody got it. Line it back up. We're not, we don't throw picks around here, no. Mm. Oh man. What, so what's your what's your what's your go-to route? Like you gotta have it. Then say, hey, what route do you, you gotta route someone up? You can't get no trade secrets, dog. Come on, two. Damn, that's why that's why I hit him with the little Yeah, two. Can't give him the trade secrets. <laughs> what? They hey, big, prepared for it. Hey, big, he's going big, watching this film right hey, here. Big, big, big brother's hey, watching. You, know? you want me to just give it away like that, man? Hey, everybody, hey, everybody third and one, they knew knows. I was running the ball. Everybody oh, else knew my go. favorite route, but I can't, I can't dispose that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we're a go ball. We're gonna see a go route. We're, we're, yeah, because that's, yeah. that's easy. That ain't nothing. Yeah, we we can say that. We don't know for real. We 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 don't know for real. Hey, you say what? Coach Hawk say block no rock. Yep, man. So we talked. We got some. We got some fire, fire questions for you. Just so throw a key out down there somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's because, I mean them, it's because I mean them king kong pancakes. That's what I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be eating. What's your favorite pancake? Yeah. Chocolate chip or regular? You can never go on with re regular. You know. We're talking about buttermilk. Buttermilk or, or chocolate chip? That's regular. Buttermilk That's is regular, regular right? Some people yeah. don't put yeah. that buttermilk in them pancakes now. What you mean? Ain't that how they come? I'm gonna teach him how to make some too. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we gonna film that. You're gonna be back in the kitchen. Oh, we ain't filming nothing. No, that's top secret. <laughs> <laughs> not filming nothing. Oh man. I need to stop using so much syrup though. I only be eating like maybe two pancakes. I'd be overdoing it. Yeah. Never, yeah. never too much syrup. Huh? Keon's sport about that four percent of below body fat. Now, what's your right, body fat? right. You you you'll see. <laughs> but uh, so I saw on your Instagram there you you got some shoe a shoe game there. So what what's your you know go to? I I don't got shoe game like you like you young bucks do. I wear Kohans, so old man shoes. So uh, what <laughs> rock go to ports. shoes? Rock ports. <laughs> rock ports. Stay <laughs> Seattle. Oh Seattle. yeah. Go to shoe. I mean, we gotta go like out of all brands, or like we could go like. Certain brands. Give me your 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 top five in your rotation. <laughs> top five. Ah, so oh, for one, we gotta go Prestos. They the most comfortable. I love some Prestos. We can go. We can go Jordans. I like. I wear fours, threes, ones, elevens, and fourteens. I wear some twelves. Then, uh I mean, I got a good pair, a good bit of pair of Yeezys, but I like. uh Vapor Max, Vapor Max number four. Then we could go, uh, number five. What's five? Uh, uh, five. Hmm. Some forces. You never could go wrong with some forces. I'm about to say your cleats, yo, your cleats, cuz. <laughs> That's not shoes. That's mandatory. I'm in there all day. <laughs> oh man. So what what's your take? What's your take on king cake? Mm. I ain't you know I ain't the biggest fan of it. I mean it's not yeah, bad. Man, look, I like the cinnamon roll. I only eat the cinnamon roll. Like I don't eat the the vanilla. What they have vanilla, uh, cream cheese or something like that. Shark cake. Talk. I don't eat all that. I like <coughs> cinnamon roll. I like regular. I like the plain stuff. Mm. Hey, I don't listen, like nothing. Man. I don't even eat chocolate filled donuts and then I like just regular. Just give me the regular stuff. I think all that other stuff nasty. So Man. 20 years after Keon retires from football, whatever that is, he's going to still look the way he does now. <laughs> That's okay. a fact. I'm not going to say <laughs> Yeah. He ain't going to overdo it, bro. All right. Yeah. Here's, here's some questions, man. We want to get you – get you want to let Spartan Nation get to know you. Obviously, yeah. this is the brand, right? So, you know, we talked about – we met your mom. We met your, your, your brother – after, after the Penn State game. And uh, we, me and Jay, you missed the cookout with the gumbo, <laughs> right? Everybody and, and I, and I what heard, you I doing, heard, bro? I, I heard your mom just made some again, didn't she? She might make some again. You gonna make some again before you leave? She gonna make some again. Oh, all right. Okay. Hey, yeah. All right, cool. We're gonna do a good up. show with, with Raven and Keon. And then we're gonna do a little gumbo testing, tasting. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we'll make some, 
What makes hey, it at, Br- at, at Brighton. At Brighton. At, at, oh, at the at Brighton. Brighton. Yes. Ooh, bring yes. the gumbo there. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Bring the gumbo to the to the sun. Put my dukes on screen. Let us say what it is. <laughs> <Come on>. mm-hmm. <laughs> She don't want to be in the screen, man. <laughs> man, we have Mama Hall on. She got to come on now. Come on, yeah. Look, Mama, come on. <laughs> Just a quick. Just... Look, they asked me for you. No, come this way. It started this way. Come right here. It, it, it started right here. Doug, Doug knows. Doug, some it. Doug got some gumbo before we got gumbo. Doug had gumbo. There, there, there she go. Hey. Don't run now. Need that gumbo, Mama. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, at the Brighton location. You think you're going to have it at the Brighton location? March 4th. Yep. So everybody knows it's real. She, 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 she. Mm. I'll trade you some chocolate chip pancakes for that gumbo. Here we go. <laughs> Got a deal, Cal. Uh, <laughs> <gonna take> <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a business manager in the background over there. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, Kia, we, we really appreciate the time, man. We thank you for coming on the show, man. This is awesome, this deal with you and IHOP. Uh, Cal, also, thank you both. Thank you guys for coming and doing this. It means a lot to us for you to announce this on our show. Anytime. It's, it's We've been trying to get on the it, show. Yeah, oh, it's you great that you guys set this up. I just ain't know how to ask. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you tell you tell your people to get with our people, man. All, all the brothers on the on the squad, holla at us, man. I got you. There's Keon socials for everybody at Keon Coleman six on Twitter and at Keon Coleman three on Instagram. Follow him. Give him some love, Spartan Nation. Give him, hey, give him you, already love him. Love. you already know you love him, but go ahead and give him that, that crown already, man. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Give him his flowers now. Appreciate, right, Keon, you, appreciate you for coming on, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Y'all have a great night. You, you too, too, man. Go right, green. See you soon, Keon. Go white.